you are going to have to completely bleed your brake system after this job is completed. Do not try and drive the vehicle without completely bleeding the system, including activating the ABS pump with your scan tool. The master cylinder is located under the driver's side cowl. I like to drain this as if you're replacing the pump, you want to replace the fluid as well. You do not need to remove the entire cowl to perform this work, but start by removing the rubber trim that runs along the cowl indicated by the red arrow. There is a set of tabs on the underside of the driver side cowl, red arrows. Lift the side cowl and slide out the tabs from the remaining cowl. You're going to be draining and working around brake fluid which is lethal to any car's paint. Be sure to have plenty of thick cloths covering any painted area around the brake reservoir, red arrow, and any additional rags to clean up additional fluid during the removal process. Brake fluid is also highly flammable, so all rags contaminated with brake fluid should be safely disposed of when done. The ABS pump is attached by the lines to the master cylinder. Locate the brake fluid reservoir and remove the cap and strainer red arrow. Use a fluid pump or a syringe and catch bottle to drain the reservoir, red arrow. Again, the brake fluid is fatal to your paint. Make sure you do not get any on you or your clothes and then contact the paint surface. With the brake reservoir drained, you can now work on the ABS pump without excessive fluids drainage. Again, be sure to have plenty of thick cloths covering the painted area around the ABS pump, red arrow, and additional rags to clean up additional fluid during the removal process. We also recommend placing a drip pan to catch any fluid that may escape and splash under the vehicle. Red arrow. To move the electrical push on connector, lift up on the release tab indicated by the red arrow. The nuts on the ABS pump can easily strip. Be sure to use the right tool for the job. Use an 11 millimeter flare nut wrench to remove the four small lines, red arrows, and a 13 millimeter flare nut wrench to remove the two large lines, blue arrows. During installation, you will tighten these small lines to a tightening torque of 14 newton meters or 10.5 foot pounds, and the two large lines to a tightening torque of 18 newton meters or 13 foot pounds. The ABS pump is held in by a friction fit on three rubber grommets in its mounting point. Hold the hydraulic lines apart and lift the pump straight up to remove it from the mount. Use care when removing not to spill any fluid that will still be in the pump. If you need additional clearance for the lines, you can remove the mounting hardware holding the wiper fluid reservoir, blue arrow, by removing the two 10 mm screws and nuts, red arrows. During installation, you will tighten them to a tightening torque of 8 newton meters or 6 foot pounds. To remove the mounting holder on the ABS pump, remove the three 10 millimeter screws, red arrows. During installation, you will need to tighten them to a tightening torque of 10 newton meters or 7.5 foot pounds. Installation is the reverse of removal. You will need to code the new pump with your scan tool once installation is complete. You're going to have to completely bleed your brake system, include activating the ABS pump with your scan tool to complete this job. Do not try and drive the vehicle without completely bleeding the system with your scan tool. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.